Hey there, it's Sarah. Today, we're going to take a look at how to bring a Rivet contributor into OBS. One thing to know about using OBS with Rivet is that the workflow only works in one direction. There are some system limitations with OBS, like you can ingest a Rivet feed into OBS, but there are no mix minus capabilities, so you're unable to ingest and push an SRT out at the same time. And so what it comes down to is that the return feed for Rivet will not be possible in this scenario. If you need this capability, you'll need to use something a bit more robust than OBS, but if bringing the contributor, like maybe a gamer with no return is what you're looking for, then we're gonna move forward. If you haven't set up your Rivet stream already, head over to rivet.stream and log into your account. I've created the stream for our test today, but let's take a look. As you can see, I've filled out my decoder IP address, as well as the port information for my Rivet feed. And then down here, like usual, we've got our stream settings like latency, bitrate, and frame rate. But if you take a notice down here, I've disabled the return feed. Like I said before, we can't receive and send from OBS at the same time. So a return feed really won't be necessary. So let's uncheck that and I'll save the stream. My contributor will now type that stream ID into their device as I configure OBS. In the sources menu, hit the plus sign and add a media source input. Uncheck local file and for input, enter the SRT URL and port number. If the stream is received from a server in listener mode, the SRT connection will be in mode equals caller, and that's the default one, so the option can be omitted. For the case of this demo, I'm using a server as my decoder, so I'll be using the caller version of this URL. For input format, enter MPEG-TS. Once that is all configured, hit OK, and your Rivet contributor should appear in OBS. And there you have it, Rivet in OBS. Happy broadcasting.